啦。Hello, pips, and welcome back to Two Point Hospital. Welcome back to Culture Shock. We are in Plywood Studios. Since the last episode,、um, I did indeed、uh, move out these couple of rooms, this building on their own, and、uh, put a lot of treatment rooms in here and decorated it、uh, a little bit. Yes, look, and they're instantly、uh, enjoying all the bits and bobs、uh, that are kicking around.、Um, yeah, using some of the.、Uh, Arty items, retro items, bit of all sorts, really, bit of all sorts.、Um, so yeah, we've got this going on,、um, and、uh, there's a bit of a, a bit of a tidy up happening over here. We're going to send pest control home. Bit of、um, uh, uh, tidy, but it's it's still a bit. Well, there's room for expansion. Let's put it that way. And、uh, I have moved、uh, the GP offices to this end、um, so that、uh, further diagnosis can break out、uh, towards this end.、Uh, we'll probably also need a GP office、uh, over here as well. Now, I did see for a moment there that we have quite the queue building up here. So what I would like to do is get another diagnostic room in. Um, I'm actually quite keen for fluid analysis. There it is, our basic fluid analysis room. It is going to need、uh, one of these actually.、Uh, so let's pop that in there. Now we are also going to need. Oh blimey, we've got some great nurses here, but not the nurse that I'm after. They're nasty, so they can go. Likes to argue. Uh, grumpy, likes to argue, and nausea-inducing. Okay, well, there we go. That settled that one. So we need、uh, another nurse、um, for diagnosis. Do you know what Ursula will do?、Uh, no. So let's have a look here. Diagnostic, and I'd like you in the green. There we go. And this just might help a little bit. With、um, some of the the queue that we're the, that we're building up here, is there any that we could send away? Oh, right, they're in the toilet. I'm thinking Lando,、uh, damp <laughs> here could be sent、uh, straight for treatment, but he needs to come out of the toilet first. Love the way he walks. <laughs> <laughs> Come on then, we're going to send you for treatment. I think to get you out of that queue.、Um, anyone else? Do you know what you could also, Timmy Solomon?、Uh, there we go. Yeah, and they can stay in the queue. So it might just help a little bit.、Um, ease up. Now, of course, because we've been promoting stunt trouble, we have some stunt trouble issues.、Um, It's double trouble. Where is Roderick?、Uh, first and foremost, Roderick. Where are you, man? Oh, he's actually quite tired again.、Um, but I think we're going to work him to the bone in this exciting episode of Back Wards.、Um, <laughs> um, come on, here we go. We want to see lots of curing in this department. Do we have any doctors actually that can do?、Uh, not really. Not really. We just need one more to get this. Excellent. Well, that's that's pretty great.、Um, we do need to train some staff. That would help with our money situation.、Uh, how is marketing coming along? That one is going well. So I think in the next round we will not. Uh, be doing stunt trouble. <laughs> Roderick, Roderick needs a break, don't you? How you doing, my guy? Hey. Really tired. Needs the toilet. But he is happy because he's cured patients. You know, genuinely, real patients. He's doing it. <laughs> so proud of you, Roderick. Just so proud of you. <laughs> Excellent. It's good money as well.、Uh, working through this queue. How are we doing? Excellent. I'd like them in next. Really. Uh oh. Roderick's decided to go for a break. Fine.、Um, 
There's no suitable doctors to take over by the looks of things. Um, no, there isn't. Okay. So what we're going to have to do is let Roderick have, I'm not building the head office. We'll have to go 90 days without a death. We can give it a go. Probably won't be able to do it. You're right in there. <laughs> we'll keep an eye on him because we could do, oh look, we instantly had a death. What we'd like to do is, look, he's doing pretty well here. So once he comes out of the bathroom, I think I'm going to stick him back in here. Okay. Here we go. Excellent. There you go. Let's get back on it uh, and knock out these guys. The marketing campaign has come to an end. So we're going to do a small one just to promote the hospital in general. That's what we're going to do. Um, and then we'll get our first star. Surgery required. Now surgery would actually be pretty great to build. Um, we could employ Luna here. Um, saying that. I can't afford to train her just yet. Can't actually afford her just yet. It's a bit upsetting. <laughs> bit upsetting because we've just done the... We're going to have to send you home. But good to know that surgery is definitely one uh, that is worth... Oh, do you know what? We could send you home as well. Uh, it's definitely worth building that one. Any other illnesses that I don't want to deal with right now? No, no. Okay, because we do have some cues occurring here, don't we? We do indeed. And he's not great, this guy. He's a bit rubbish, in fact. Uh, maybe we could employ Luna, even though she's short-tempered. Maybe we could employ her as another GP. We've, we, we, we clearly uh, need to get that done. We, we clearly need another GP. Um, so what I'd like to do is get Lillian, I think, to train her. I think we'll do that. Um, yeah. Because he is technically the better GP. Um, so how's Roderick doing over here? Oh, we've got loads more that have come through. Okay. So he's still very busy over here, isn't he? So I think what I'm going to have to do, unfortunately, is close this GP, which means the queue over here is going to be colossal. Cooper, though, could go for treatment with their square eyes. Um, could anyone else come out this queue? Not at the moment. Definitely got uh, a staffing thing to do. We do have a surgeon here now. Um, but yeah, we've definitely got a staff thing going on. I'd like you to go home. Yes, yes, yes. Crack on. Right, I think what we're going to do is employ Cooper vibes here uh, to help with this situation. So we can now open this again. And uh, yeah, look. It's also got genetics. Um, but we'll do in here in the time for the time being. Um, what I would like to do actually is take these bookcases out because these are the, the lower graded ones. And we're going to pop in the Encyclopedia Bookcase 2, but also more of them. So we'll put those in. Yes, that's what we like. That's it. And then that's it. There we go. Brilliant. And then we will move that to there love it what is the temperature like she's probably getting a little bit warm yeah okay i'm going to also put one of these in this corner there we go now it's a bit chilly in that room but it's better they're happier this way surgery is still required not ready for it just yet any money i've got uh does need to go to sort of sorting out stuff that we've got before we need to expand we need to make the foundation that we're working with just a little bit more stable uh before we expand anymore which basically means sorting out the staff training them up a bit uh, getting better results out of what we already have we're making money so there's no need to expand just yet you know we can we can take time to get this to work better first um absolutely so that's what we're going to do we're getting a couple of um 
Pontian's coming back for re-diagnosis. Here we are. Uh, yeah, so bit by bit by bit. Well, this training is done. Really pleased. Really pleased. So we do have two decent ones. Um, we're going to get Jonathan here to train Fuddle in GP2. I think that'll be really, really great. Slowly try and sort these GPs out. I like the idea of having a GP office over here for re-diagnosis. So if the patients, but we're gonna close it for now. If the patients have, um, where am I? Who have we got? Yeah, we don't, yeah, there's too much training going on at the moment. So what is this? Uh, yeah, we failed that. Um, yeah, so the idea is that if they go into one of these rooms to be diagnosed, they can come here for re-diagnosis rather than for their revisit rather than coming back here and just start pulling them pulling them away and then we might be able to get them to pop you know you know okay so let's uh, wait for this bit of training uh, to go through <gasps> oh my goodness we have done it look at that we have our first star dear hospital administrator one star hospital congratulations your hospital has been awarded a one star rating by the two point health ministry so you've decided to chance your arm in show business it's a well-trod path for those of us who find success in the healthcare trade but i warn you it can only end in tears anyway i remain confident that television is nothing more than a passing albeit long-lived fad <laughs> Uh, continue to fester in the realm of fiction or return to reality and get back to work. Yours fragrantly, Tarquin Foxbridge. 10,000 doubloons, 100 kudos. We have unlocked Mudbury Festival and also the Stunt Trouble poster. We are, of course, going to be uh, staying uh, here uh, until we've got all three stars. Oh, oh look at this. Hygiene rating uh, of 75%. We've already got it at 93%. Uh, yeah, no mess in. Uh, our staff morale. We need to get it to 80, currently at 72, not too bad. And our reputation um, of 85, we're currently at 70. So we're not doing too bad here. And have Roderick Cushion cure 16 patients. Okay, I reckon we can, uh, we can do these things. We still need to train another member of staff. Um, oh, this light-headed patient uh, can be on their way. We still need to train another member of staff. Uh, that is definitely uh, a thing. Also shall we put this item that we unlocked pictures where's our stunt trouble poster there it is look at it it's beautiful oh yeah that's what i'm talking about oh yeah absolutely beautiful right <laughs> uh good um oh oh yes <laughs> oh my god hey you you there you there off you go what is this jasmine odyssey would like to come back please do uh, come visit so let's see here uh, no doctors available at the moment to help with our gp situation we can now however open this one um we keep this guy around at the moment just because um, he's going to be uh, pretty good getting these uh, two sorted. But also, look, he's got research and radiology. He's, he's a good trainer, isn't he? So we're just going to keep him around for that. What other staff do we have? If we go to low qualifications. Ah, so. Um, do you know what? We might do... Actually, no, we will, we will go Natasha. We're going to train Natasha in diagnostics. Uh, we're going to have to get Gregory Mouse in. Um, we could train both of them. We won't. It would be it would be pushing it, you know, to have both these rooms uh, with no staff to help out. In terms of nurses, who likes to argue and is terribly dull, get out of here. Uh, <laughs> get out of it. Um, what is our? What are they like? Nasty. Although, they do have nasty upsets other people here, which is not great. Uh, 
Um, and we had Esther. It's just a little bit better. I might actually, better as in personality wise, we can train her up to have the treatment. So I think what we might do, yeah, is replace. So we'll put the put him in the purple. As I like this to be my, my treatment thing. Pest control can go home. Uh, I think I'd like to get surgery going next. Ideally. Uh, and we could also do with the janitor that's going to be has a dark side. No. Enjoys doing evil things. They can reduce the health uh, uh, on patients. So uh, there's not somebody here who I'd be really up for um ooh, lily underdriver for being a you know one that upgrades uh we also don't really have a maintenance person here either that's worth bearing in mind yeah don't have all the janitors i i would like just yet oh my goodness there is an earthquake coming let's just pause it a minute and have a look at the state of our machines so I think we might ask for a repair on here and a repair on here and a repair on here. Um, before that earthquake hits. What is this? Corrupt footage. The sufferer has developed holes in the bones of their feet. What? That will require editing. Must be restored carefully and then wrapped in a protective analog film uh, caused by tripping on set, dropping reels on your heels and someone leaving a franchised coffee cup in the shot. <laughs> um, oh, we have a stunt trouble emergency. Promote three members of staff. We will give that uh, a go. Well, we're repairing this machine just at one moment and we are about to have an earthquake. So I'm not going to get that emergency in just yet you can go home that's what you can do how are we doing over here you could also uh do with going home excellent good good diagnostic is going along fine hi jazz i love it when jasmine odyssey is visiting us come back oh no uh, Jazz, Jazz, Earthquake, look after yourself. I'm trying to follow her, there we go. See, look, this wasn't good at all, was it? Where are we? Oh my goodness. Okay, it didn't mention a fire. <laughs> fire in the hospital. Thought you ought to know, yes. Yeah, I feel... Like it is something worth noting. I, I was trying to copy that before they picked it up. Failed. <laughs> there we go. Excellent. We're also going to need a repair job on that. Thank you. We need a repair job on this. This is the... Just try and get things squared. All the heat uh, cooling has gone down. Oh my goodness. Another fire over here. Okay. Doctor to danger zone, please. How's it going, everyone? Are we getting the repairs done? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay. I think what we'll do, this, jan this janitor, yeah, this janitor. I think, yeah. And we will start getting them trained up, I think, in maintenance. Uh, got a long way to go just to try and get things back up to code. Yeah, please come along to this one. Still waiting on here. Oh my goodness, you're going to set that on fire again. Stop it. That's it. Yeah, push her out of the way. That's it. Well done, Lola. <laughs> Sit, sit down. Uh, we successfully promoted three members of staff. Did we? How did we do that? Right. So what other training uh, could we do here? Although we've, we've got it. We've done the training thing. Oh, maybe we don't. But the thing is, is I don't really want to expand the hospital until I'm, I'm happy with 
the solid foundations and at the moment this is not a solid foundation to be to be uh, growing our hospital on um i'm still looking yeah not finding them uh a decent one to upgrade do you know what we might have to do is actually train lily in mechanics so that she can start upgrading machines i think that's what we're going to do we will get penelope power in to get to get her trained up uh looking forward to getting the diagnosis on that one <laughs> um yeah pest control oops i sold that instead of repaired it you can leave and now i need to replace this item uh there we go good uh jasmine odyssey hadn't mentioned us she hasn't mentioned us okay great producer idea have roderick cushion cure a patient yeah well he's got to cure a whole bunch of them uh, to be honest um there's been an outbreak of stunt trouble in the area after a recent screening of roderick cushion's blood thumping classic brisk and livid <laughs> will be rewarded if we treat this group i would like to treat this group how is this machine doing it's been repaired where is roderick roderick where are you man you're in there and you're doing all right okay we're going to accept this emergency and we're gonna keep an eye on roderick make sure that he's um he's actually dealing with it yeah that's what we'll do um right we need to repair this we still need to repair this if we could do, if we could do that god oh god we need more janitors I need a bunch of maintenance chances, which at the moment I don't have. And it's proving to be... Oh! Yes! Oh my good. Gilbert, thank goodness for you. Uh, I'd like you to specialise uh, in maintenance, please. That's it, thank you. Surgery required. Oh, I don't know. Doctors, no. Send you home for now. I'm not ready. I am not ready to expand. I really am not. Right, please. What's going on? Are we going to actually repair these? Am I going to have to close these rooms before you actually repair them? I'm going to close these. I'm going to close them. I want you to repair these machines instead of constantly having patients, right, being diagnosed on them. Otherwise, they're going to have more fires. What's wrong with you? Get them dealt with. They've all been redirected to the ward. <laughs> uh, right, we're going to send you for treatment. And Bertie, uh, who's just gone into the toilet. Uh, oh, Sebastian, go for treatment. Oh, look. 62%. Send for treatment. What do we get? Motion sickness. Yes. <laughs> uh, caused by overexposure to special effects, the sufferer's body is caught in a state between the... Uh, procedurally generated world and our own <laughs> they must be cured and have every ping pong ball removed before they disappear forever <laughs> i love it i love that one. Oh my god that's the best one i like motion sickness <laughs> i like motion sickness a lot <laughs> and it's a ward a ward one so that's great that's absolutely fantastic Really, really pleased. Good. So let's now get this open and get this open. That would be great. Bertie is now out of the toilet, so we can send him for treatment. Uh, we're going to send you to the top of the queue, actually. Yeah, you can come to the bottom. You can come to the bottom. Actually, what we could do... Let's see... See if, yeah, if they're going to be pushed over a little bit. Okay, let's send you for treatment. Uh, we're going to send you for treatment. We don't have... Oh, no, we do have the fracture ward. Oh, oh, surgery can go. That uh, Director's gut. Chronic stomachache caused by excessive decision-making and mouldy bagels. <laughs> Start getting them into this other one. Here, you could also go through. Now, we need to get you... There we go. Some of these just further up the queue. Good. 
good. A bit concerned about you. I might actually just send you home with your, with your writer's block. Oh my goodness. We do need more. I could also do with um, a janitor that just waters plants. Um, you know. Really, really could. Let's get a priority on a bunch of these, can we? We need to call this hospital. How's it going? He must be getting pretty tired. Yeah, he is. He's getting pretty tired. But he is curing them all. Look at him go. It's really going to help with this. Um, really, really pleased about that. Let's get them to the top, even though they're not a VIP. I still think we're going to do fine with this. Okay, Roderick's decided he has actually had enough. Uh-ohs, 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 uh-ohs. Um, how long do I give him? I think we might have to bring him back. You just need to keep working there, boyo. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to have to work you to the bone, Roderick. Okay, so we've managed to employ a couple more janitors. I've got one that's doing just plants and I've got another one repairing things. Um, so let's, uh, again, look at our train a little bit. Actually, let's just look at money. Yeah, let's just satisfy all their, all their monies. Um, so what am I doing? Information. Uh, all staff low. Okay, so I think we could do with getting um, Ross uh, trained in ward management in the meantime we might get Cuthbert in uh, to look after the ward um, do you know what Cuthbert Cuthbert oh, get rid of them get rid of them right <laughs> Cuthbert I've lost you right first of all that and Ross, I would like you to get your ward management training. Now we're actually going to pay Gordon Nightingale to come in and do that. Uh, so that'll be good. Uh, I think we might also see about building another training room. Um, let's see here. Yeah, we could... Now, Piper... Did I say Pippa last time? I think I might have called her Pippa. I'm not sure. Anyway, Piper. Um, I'm thinking might be good to get some uh, training on. You can take over. What's great um, about customer service level three is customer service training means that they serve customers faster, which is great. But from level three onwards, they also start to increase the happiness of uh, customers they come into contact with. Um, so getting them to level three customer service is really great. Uh, we're going to uh, continue to expand training. Um, and we are going to train. I think you, Gilbert in maintenance two and we're going to get Bert in to do it and then we're going to we're uh, spending a lot of money on training at the moment but that's the way to do it right and we've got no so let's see about training a doctor maybe we could train Roderick in a uh, treatment two but then while he's doing that there's nobody around <laughs> do you know what we'll do we will get you trained up yeah in uh, GP2. That's that's what we'll do. So lots of training uh, happening at the moment. Uh, just before we start expanding anymore, just try and get a, a more solid foundation. Uh, we might need to look at uh, getting the other nurses diagnostic room in as well. That might be good. Uh, but yeah, just want to try and sort out the staff before we, uh, you know, go for surgery and uh, all the rest of it. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you to all my Patreons for their continued support.